Um, I'm expecting to see some new Australian fashion and uh, I'm wearing some Australian jewellery tonight so I'm here to learn more you know go home to Canada with some new Australian funky gear. I find the style here a little more liberated and creative. I've noticed that in both people's personal style and what I see in the shops. So when you're in the front row watching fashion shows, because I overheard you say that you really enjoy doing fashion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what are you thinking? Are you doing a mental sort of shopping list in your head? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, well, our season is just starting. Winter's starting in Canada and it's ending here. <laughs> so I'm racking up on those sales items here in Australia. And, um, you know, I hope to pick up some great boots for fall. Uh, and a couple more bags. I'm bag obsessed at the moment. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. So far, it's been really exciting. I've been learning a lot about it. And there's some great young designers that I'm really excited about. I love um, Easton Pearson and some of the people here today, so I'm excited. Will you be stocking up on any fashion to take home? Um, I have been looking at dresses and stuff. Yeah, definitely. There's some things from these designers that I, I want to wear to to events. So yeah. And you're a bit of a trendsetter. So what do, what do you oh, foretell <laughs> for the, the future of fashion this summer? I have no idea. I think it's so funny when people say you're a trendsetter. I don't know. I don't. I'm not good at trends. I don't think I follow trends really. All right. Maybe I do, like but I feel like I don't. What? You set trends. Well, I don't know about that either. <laughs> That's up to the other people's opinions.